keeping you to take good care of these doggies? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh yeah? Um, no. Oh. oh, Maggie's putting in a pen. Hopefully you won't have a long drive. Oh, Lola. Why? Mm -hmm. Put it in the back. No. It's fine. Wait, they don't like it. Oh. Oh, doggies. Oh, Bye, house. Hope you don't get destroyed. I don't get a hug. The house gets a buy, and I get a key. Hold on, I'm putting my bag down. All right. Lolly, I need to move this blanket All right. back to the back. You gonna be okay? Yeah. All right. Trust I'll drive. Feel weird. All right. It feels weird to stuff a car full of like your most Keegan. Your whole life. There they go. That's it. They're evacuating. Oh no. It's just me and you, Jackson. We gotta hold this place down. You prepared? Sounds good. Do you ever have so much to do that you don't know where to start so then you just procrastinate and you end up doing nothing pro productive like stare at your phone endlessly or your computer and nothing gets done and then you just sit and bitch about how much you, you have to get done. Well, I'm in that kind of phase right now. I'm like, ah, I got so much to do. I'm like making lists of things to do and I'm just staring at it going and I'm stressing over what else do I need to add to the list? I can't figure it out. So then I figured, you know what? There's this thing that's been bothering me for the last, all week. This box has been sitting on the ground by my table over here all week, and I, th I think it's time to unbox it. So, let's unbox this thing. Ready? I know what it is, obviously. I ordered it. It's a box. You see that? It's a record crate. All of my record storage is currently full. So now I've got I put my record somewhere else. They're just kind of sitting on a stack upstairs in my uh, little music listening office. It's actually my office in my house where my record player is. And I have all my vinyl up there. And there's no room left for uh, any other vinyl in my storage. So, I ordered a new crate. Look, they put this cool little 45 insert. So let's put this together, shall we? Screws, wood, She's done. What do you think? This is all the vinyl that couldn't fit in my storage. And now I've got room for new vinyl. Look, there's that new Regina Spector album. Look at this. I haven't even opened this. I, look, there, there are records in here I haven't even opened yet. There's the new Wilco album. The new Beach Slang album. The Head and the Heart album, Bleached, oh this is a used record I bought, T-Rex, fantastic. Nathaniel Ratliff and the Night Sweats, went and saw them over the summer here in Charleston, they were awesome. I've been listening to this record on Spotify since it came out, but I haven't even opened the vinyl yet, because I haven't had <coughs> anywhere to store it. So now maybe I'll do an unboxing or something, who knows. But here we go. So, 
The point of that is to get myself moving. And once I get moving, I get the juices flowing and now I feel like I'm doing stuff and I can get things accomplished. So onward, upward, gonna conquer the day. All right, I just watched the uh, press conference that they had for the morning update uh, from Nikki Haley. And uh, I gotta say, politics aside, she's a really good leader in a crisis. But anyway, I've gotta move all of my cars uh, that are left behind in a situation that makes sense so I can get out with the car I'll be driving uh, quickly. So let's go do that. All right, got all the keys, let's do this. My car hasn't been driven in so long that I forgot that it still smells like a new car. That's done, let's keep going. All right, let's get some laundry full. had my yoga class and I'm about to head to Lowe's again. This is the second day in a row I'm trying to get to Lowe's. Uh, hopefully I'll make it there. Uh, traffic's not too bad going there. I just hope they're open. I should check. Yeah, I'm right down the block from it. These are not the cords you're looking for. Time to get this patio taken care of. See this? We're totally breeding like something in there. Baby mosquitoes or something. I don't know what the heck that is. came and said hi. We need to get these. Hopefully they got bees on them. Bees like the hummingbird feeders. Let's stick this over here. I don't know if you can see it because they're kind of small, but these are really cool. I'm gonna come out here and take pictures of all these spiders. But yeah, I think I'm not gonna disturb them yet. Because they're all attached to these guys, which are going to have to come down, but we'll have to wait till uh, later to do that. Because the spider's cool. There's the lizard. Jack Jack, do you see that lizard? Did you see it? Yeah. Let's go inside. There's a mess. This is where I like to practice my meditation. And now it's just storage. Here's the book.
gotten a lot of work done today. It's ridiculous. I'm actually exhausted now. Um, but I just got a bunch of, you know, office work done. Caught up on all my paperwork. And what else did I do? Oh, I had a fraudulent charge on my business credit card that I had to take care of. So I just got off the phone with them and they're going to cancel the card. They're going to send a new one. I swear this is like the third time in like a month that I've had to deal with this. This is a different card from the last two. And I went to the ATM machine the other day. And this is uh, on Tuesday after they announced the, uh, what do you call it? Evacuation. And uh, guess what? They declined me from taking money out of the ATM for fraudulent activity. This is a totally different bank, totally different account. I'm telling you, man. The demons are out there. These people are jerks. Jerks! All right. I've got two more things left on my list. Today is GTD day. Getting things done. I've got to take inventory pics of my house and pack a go bag. Because this... Uh, you know, this hurricane right now, it's not looking good. You know, I don't know. I'm starting to think that weather.com is the Fox News of weather reporting since every headline is just scary. Like, really scary. Like, you know, one headline says, if you're in the Carolinas, get out because your home's going to be destroyed. I'm like, what? So, I'm going to pack, pack. I'm just going to pack. And get ready to go pack the car so it's ready to go at a moment's notice. And uh, get, you know, get some pictures taken of all the uh, stuff that's in my house so that if it does blow away, I can have some reference uh, for the insurance companies. Anyway, after that, we're going to relax. We're going to have a drink. We're going to watch some Luke Cage. And that's it. And I'm going to enjoy the evening of peace and quiet if I can. Because from the looks of it, I'll be sitting in traffic tomorrow. I hope not. All right, good evening. It has been a long day of prep. Got all the work done I needed. I just finished packing my go bag just in case I decide to leave at the last second. And uh, it's October, so I'm going to have some... Oktoberfest beer to relax. And I think after I drink this, I might run over to the grocery store one last time because I'm out of dates. And I don't want to be without dates. Dates are delicious. Anyway, I don't know, maybe I'll go. So, I thought I'd end the uh, today's vlog like I'd be... Well, like I've been beginning the other vlogs. So, let's read from the uh, Buddhist book. The Practical Daily Wisdom of the Buddhist Day-by-Day -day book. Wisdom for Modern Life. Let's find... Oh, I hope I didn't lose my place. What is today? Today's the 6th. Should we, leave, should we read yesterday since we missed it? Yeah, let's do that. You won't mind, will you? All right, so this is from yesterday. No matter what the circumstances, you should never concede defeat. Never conclude that you've reached a dead end, that, you, that everything is finished. You possess a glorious future, and precisely because of that, you must persevere and study. Life is eternal. Here we go. This is like three days in a row with the eternal thing. I... I we need to focus on the two existences of the present and the future and not get caught up in the past. We must always have the spirit to begin with a new, uh, I'm sorry, to begin anew from this moment to initiate a new struggle each day. All right, that part's all right. Let's go to the, uh, let, let's take a bet. Let's take a bet. If they say the word eternal in the next post, I will chug this beer. I had to prime it right there. All right, let's see. I don't want to chug a beer. I want to enjoy it. I don't like chugging beer. Chugging beer is for shitty beer. That's a good beer. I like it. Anyway, October 6th. If you summon your courage to challenge something, 
<clears throat> you'll never regret it. How sad it would be to spend your life wishing if I had only had a little more courage. Whatever the outcome, the important thing is to take a step forward on the path that you believe is right. There's no need to worry about what others may think. It's your life after all. Be true to yourself. Oh, I like that one. And I don't have to chug a, chug a beer. How great. Let's look at that one again. Let's examine this one. This one, I think, is so much uh, more... It speaks to me. It's so much more... Uh, less. <laughs> so much more or less. It's so much less uh, mystical. No. If you summon your courage to challenge something, you'll never regret it. Okay. Fair enough. How sad it would be to spend your life w wishing if I only had a little more courage. So it's basically saying, go balls out. Just go all out. Uh, whatever the outcome, the important thing is to take a step forward on the path that you believe is right. So yeah, use, use, do some, do things with, with all of your heart, you know? Don't uh, half-ass stuff. I think I'm, I've mentioned this before, that <clears throat> my grandmother used to give me the world's worst advice. She used to say, if, you, if you're doing a job, don't do your best because then your boss will always expect the best from you. And, uh, yeah, that's just terrible advice. Who says that? Anyway, I, I think the, I, I'm the exact opposite. If you're doing something, do your best. Give it your all. And if your best isn't good enough, oh well, at least you tried your best. You know, and the next time you try it, it'll be better. But yeah, always do your best. It's silly to, to half-ass anything. Um, let's see. There's no need to worry about what, other, what others may think. It's your life, after all. Be true to yourself. So basically, you're not doing these things to impress other people. You're doing it because you have a, a work ethic or a life ethic that uh, means something to you, not to someone else. So yeah, you should always... You should always do stuff that you would... You live by the golden rule, right? You treat others the way you want to be treated. kind of works the same way. You work on things the way you would expect others to work on them. So whenever you're doing something, you give it your best. Within means. I mean, I could tell you right now, this daily vlog I make is far from my best as far as creating films. It's the best for the time I allot for it. Um... And it's the best for what I'm trying to get out of it, which is learning a little bit of something every day about myself and about the process. Um, every day, I, you know, I get a little bit better um, and I learn something and I can take that and apply it when I really need it. So uh, sometimes when you do things, you're not giving it your all, so to speak, because you can't. You're giving it your all for the circumstance that you're in. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So like, right now, I could be do, I could be professionally lighting this whole scene. Uh, I could maybe move the mic closer so it sounds better. I could probably use a different lens so that it's not so wide and I'm not so distorted so that if I go like this, it doesn't look all weird. Whoa! Anyway, or if I get real close. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! So, anyway. But I'm doing my best for what I am doing right now. In other words, I'm doing my best for what this calls for. For what my vision of this is. It's exactly the way I want it to be. That, uh, hopefully that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this beer slowly, because they didn't use the word eternal, for October 6th. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow from here and not from the road heading out of town. All my neighbors are staying, so I still haven't made up my mind. I will make that up probably early tomorrow, but I'm ready to go at a moment's notice. If things turn south, I'm out. All right? Peace.